guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Gary, aka The Plastic Boy, if you follow me on Instagram. Before we get started on today's video, if you wanna click that subscribe button, click that bell so you're notified every time I upload a brand new blood clot video. Oh, cool. So, okay, and today's video is gonna be very, very exciting. I thought I'd just do something quite simple, quite cute, you know, somewhat, something that people really wanna know about, and I feel like that is nudes. I got inspired by this video by Jackie Aina. Oh my God, why am I sweating so much? Guys, oh my God, so basically, I got really inspired by Jackie Aina's video because she did a whole video about like nudes and what we know as nudes. And I remember when I was working at Makia, people always just coming for a nude lipstick. And I feel like the most popular lipstick for nude was Honey Love at the time, which I used to get asked about. And I just felt like I could never find the perfect nude for a deeper skin tone. I think my favorite nude at the time was actually Top by Mac. I really loved that lipstick so much. It was so bomb. But then I sort of like gradual, Gradu, what, what's the word? Gravitated. I'm not sure what the word is. Gravitated towards like um, kind of sexy, velvet teddy. But I wasn't wearing them with a lip liner. Like, what was wrong with you, please? Like, what the hell? And I only recently, guys, started wearing a lip liner. Like, can you believe it? And I feel like sometimes if you're deeper skin toned and you love like more of like a <laughs> a light pinky nude or like peachy nude. If you don't wear them without lip liners, it can look very, very crazy. You can look very um flower mouth, very, you know, nuts. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite news that you can like proper, like, you know, take in, go and purchase, go try, go in the store and try it out. And these are the ones that I wear kind of day to day. I'm not gonna overload you too many, but I'm gonna show you probably my top five, which I love and some new ones that I've just discovered. So my first news actually gonna be by Avon. You actually don't need a lip liner with this if you're deeper skin tones. You can wear one, obviously, if you're a bit lighter, or a bit deeper than me, but I wear it by itself. And this is the color French Toast. I know I've actually done a campaign for this, but I actually really like the colour. This isn't sponsored, this isn't an ad, I just really love the colour. Uh, this is what it looks like on, so I'm just gonna go like that. My lips are quite dark at the moment just because I've been playing with a few different colours. Hold on. Ah. So what I normally do, I just blend in like that just to give it more of like a natural finish. As you can see, this color is super natural. It kind of looks like my own kind of like pinky nude color. Um, I don't really need a lip liner with this. I feel like if you are a bit darker, you may need a lip liner. I think it just depends on like the color of your lips. Mine's pinky and a bit like mid-tone pink at the top, a bit darker, but um, I love this nude. What do you guys think? This is my own collab with Avon. And I just love the colour, I just think it's so cute, you know, every day, bad bitch, baddie. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so a few lip liners that I love is the KKW lip liner number three. I actually can't find it anywhere, so I can't show it in this video, but it's a really nice brownie lip liner. I actually prefer it to matte chestnut, but I love cork. And I do love chestnut as well, but sometimes it can run a bit burgundy on me, I'm not sure why. Even though it is brown, I think it just depends, but I love cork. And I also love, I had another one, but... I think it's by Morphe, but I think I'll find it in a minute. But I love cork, it's because it's kind of like a mid-tone brown. I guess kind of sketch. Like, it just kind of depends on how neat you want the lip. I think cork is a bit more neutral on me. Like, it's kind of like a neutral brown, so it's kind of more natural than chestnut. But I feel like chestnut's really good if you want to blend a really light, light nude with, like, that liner. So let's sketch. Okay, so another nude that I love is by KKW Beauty, and this is the nude 7 lipstick. Packaging's really cute. The only thing that bothers me is that it's really hard to get KKW in the UK. Even if you order one thing, you're gonna get like um, shipping charges, and it's just so annoying because you don't wanna order one thing at shipping charges. I feel like if you order one thing, you may not, but you will. It's just so annoying. But this is the color 7. You can see I've loved it and then used it. And it, even though it's more creamy, I just love the consistency. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, you can see the colour. I'm just gonna blend it like that. Such a nice colour. It's very similar to the Avon one, but it's just more creamier. I just love it so much. And then you pat it. I really like this colour, it's so, so nice. You can throw a gloss on top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on the KKW gloss, and this is in the one in yellow gold. It's so, so nice. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on top. And then it's got this. So nice, it kind of reminds me of Trophy Wife, but in a gloss. How bum would it be if um, Fenty Beauty released Trophy Wife in a gloss bum? Rihanna, you need to do it honestly. Oh, I got this gloss, it's so nice. I'm just gonna pat that. 
and that's like a really nice nude. I feel like when I wear this though, I feel quite hoary. Not hoary, but you know, like, you know, what that mouth do. <laughs> hey, what that mouth do? <laughs> but um, I love this lip, it's so, so nice, but I find for me, I find it hard to wear gloss for a long time because sometimes certain glosses, especially the glass bomb, it makes my mouth water because it's so juicy and I feel like when I eat it goes everywhere but I do love wearing a glass. I'd probably wear a glass at night time when I'm going out, when I want to feel like a bad bitch, if I just want to steal someone's man. It just depends on the options but this nude lip is one of my favourites to wear on a night out because I look. Cr it just looks creamy, it looks very sexy, it just looks like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so another colour I love, it's kind of a lipstick I can wear without a lip liner. You can wear it with a lip liner, it's super creamy and it is by Laura Mercier and the colour is called Fierce. I remember when the PR first sent me this and I was so obsessed with it that I think I went through like two of them and then I asked them for more and they sent me like a box full of them. I was legit screaming because it's one of my favourite colours. Laura Mercier is so generous. Thank you, Laura. Hey. So um, this is what it looked like. It's so creamy. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the lips. Let's go like that. You don't really need a lot. I love it because the color is just, it's kind of, it reminds me of taupe. I'm just gonna go like that on the lip. Apply it together. I think because the top lip is kind of dark anyway, it kind of like acts like a, a natural lip liner. Use my finger again. It's really hot in my room, guys. Also, thank you everyone for all the comments on um, the tips I asked for going to Atlanta from New York and so many of you guys gave me tips I was like, oh you guys really listened. Okay, come through information, come through Ash Jeeves. Oh god, it's really hot in my room by the way. So this is um, Fierce. I really, really like this one. It's super natural, sorry. But um, super natural again, you don't really need a liner with it. You could add a liner if you wanted to, it's just depending on how ombre you wanted it. It's just one of my favorites. Like I don't wear it as much as I used to because I rinsed this color out so much, but I just love the finish. It's so pretty and I just feel like it's very natural, you know, it depends what kind of day you want. Natural, mm. Okay, so I found my favorite nude. So I went to a NASA bit like last year, we did like a sleepover and I left like a few products in our room and they left the, um, power matte lip pigment in slow ride and i used it and i was like oh the formula the color i was like oh cool oh cool i can't even do it but i love mixing this with my fenty beauty um glow lip gloss whatever i just love the color of this so i'm going to show you what it looks like on this is super pigmented so definitely use a little bit because because it's kind of like a watery texture it can spread so i'm going to put some on my lips but also line my lips with cork because this by itself i don't really like it by itself so you just see if you can see i love that kind of brownie taupey nude see it's kind of watery then you see how much transferred to the top it's very pigmented and then using my finger oh my god where my lip you can just go like that as well and then i'm just gonna do that again i'm gonna do dots because it's very pigmented guys see i'm just gonna use my finger it's, this dries down to a super matte finish, but it's not drying. I feel like this is probably one of my favorite formulas for uh, liquid lipstick. Even the PR, I know I love it. Like, I just love this color so damn much. Can you see that's what it's like on? It's very natural. It's, it runs a bit more on the pinky brown side, but it's super gorgeous. So what I normally do to top this off, even though this glass makes my mouth water because it's so juicy, I'm gonna top it off with the um, Fenty Glow Bomb. Let me show you guys how bomb this combo is. Oh my God. Guys, how nice is this combo? It's so pretty, so nude. I love it with the cork liner, I love the Nars lip, and this just makes it pop even more. You don't have to add a gloss on it if you don't want to, but I just feel like this combo is so sickening. The only thing is be careful because it can go on your lips, like, oh, you have to go, is that what you do? I'm not sure what you do, but, so cute. Mm. Okay, so this is the last combo. I actually got this when I was in Birmingham. I went to the Morphe store and my cousin was just shopping around and I thought, oh, that lip kit looks cute. And actually seen it on Instagram, so it's Lipstick NYX. I'm not sure if it's a collaboration or she created them. And she created three lip kits and I got the Caramel Lip Kit. So you get um, a lip liner, a gloss, and a lipstick. And when I bought this, I was like, did I buy the wrong one? Because the nude is just so light. And I'm not very into nudes like this because it's kind of like beigey nude, you know? It's like a light peachy nude. It's kind of like um, creme de nude from MAC. Those nudes just are not cute on a deeper skin tone. You will look hella crazy. So I'm gonna show you the liner. This is called um, 
what's it called? Bit trend setter. And it's kind of like, um, it reminds me of Current from MAC. It's a bit more on the dark side, but when I put this combo on, I swear to God, my lips look so bomb. So I'm literally gonna line my lips with trend setter. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply the lip and this is in the matte called 800. There's not really a name for it and it's kind of like a light nude. So I'm just gonna place a bit in the center, like that, I'm gonna press it. See how light it is? It's so intimidating, but once we put the gloss on, it's gonna be so cute, like honestly. So as you can see, it's proper like blended now. Just keep like pressing lips until it's blended. Then they gave me this gloss in the set and it's called it doesn't have a name, but it comes in the set. This looks super, when I saw this glass, I was like, what the hell did I, is this the right ones? And I had to go on the website and do my Google to check and it was the right ones. So I was like, okay. So look at how it looks when I apply the glass on. So how pretty is this new guys? It's so, so cute. So I feel like the wand really blends all the colors together. Like I just love the gloss. I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened this, I was super, super shocked. I was like, does I buy the right thing? Like, did she, did she con me? But I really, really like this color. Obviously, this is the end of the nudes. I've got so many other nudes. If you guys wanna like a second part to this video, let me know because I've got so many other nudes, but I didn't wanna like overpower you all these lipsticks. All these lipsticks are available to buy. None of them are limited edition or anything. So that's super cute. I just love them. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And obviously while you're here, definitely watch my other videos. I've got like reviews, I've got tutorials, I've got every damn thing. Thank you for watching guys and have a good week. Bye.